don't know. Can you speak? Talk to me. Using my words and my mouth to make motions and breathing out at the same time. Wow. Which, is, which often results in speaking. And I just realized there's a Doctor Who box there in, the, in the background there. I, I, don't, I, I think due to legal reasons, we, we're not allowed to call it a Doctor Who box. But uh, It's a blue police box. It's a blue police box, unlike the normal red police. Well, police, it's just a police box. It's okay. a real English thing, you know? Very it's, English. Uh, you know. Not a reference or anything. No, not at all. Not by any distinction, to be honest. This is Knights of Pen and Paper. Yes. It's uh, pretty cool, John. Tell, me, tell us more about Knights of Pen and Paper. Uh, well, it's a uh, role-playing game or a pen and paper role-playing game that you play without pen and paper, available both on PC and on Android, and I think iOS too. It it, it gets even better, John, because uh, it, there is uh, it's kind of meta in a meta meta kind of way. Not only is it tabletop RPG, you play the people that play the tabletop RPG. So it's almost like that old Onion movie where there's a guy playing a guy playing World of Warcraft. I oh that I've I actually that was I remember that. That, that was really fun. That I, was kind I of remember weird. laughing thinking no one will ever make a game like this. And then this came along. <laughs> so Knights of Pen and Paper is made by Behold Studio, who are a studio in Brazil. And this game originally came out on I believe iOS, not entirely sure if that was yes. the case. And uh, since then we've brought it over towards Steam and uh, we've released an expansion for it today, John. What is it called? It is called something something... Haunted I, Fall. Haunted Fall, <laughs> that's right. I've been looking at this for, for ages, but I can never remember the name. Haunted the, Fall. Haunted Fall, which is... Uh, and it's totally a Halloween expansion, even though some claim no, that it's, Halloween no, is it's, over. No, it's, it's, it's Haunted Fall. It's, it's the scariness of fall. The fact that it was snowing this morning has nothing to do with the fact that fall may be a thing of the past already but uh it was yeah. snowing this morning he said and then i looked out the window and everything is white yeah it was it was kind of sad really i was thinking by myself you know what I, it's you know this is not this is not cool that's the kind of mornings where you just want to fall in the shower and like almost break your neck so you can stay at home that is very dark john <laughs> that is very dark <laughs> that's the exact thought i had this morning yeah. <laughs> anyway so uh, let's get on our way here with, uh, with knights of pen and paper for those people that don't know like i said it's uh it's a meta meta game where two people where people play uh, a tabletop game which is kind of weird considering you know you can start off with two players and no nobody really RPGs with uh, with two players but as you can see this is Mr. John and we can turn we can we can like select a whole bunch of people and they can all be a whole bunch of classes now grandma for instance they get the, every single grandma is awesome I had her in my run through she demolished Wait, with grandma yeah grandma I she's had her loud as my tank. She, to me she gets an additional 100% to threat that's yeah. cool she was a really good tank which means that everybody will try to attack her uh, more really which is uh, which is pretty cool but all of these characters they all have specific passive abilities or at least abilities in general <laughs> woofy <laughs> So okay. this is like an, a really, really meta take on uh, on everything, to yeah. be honest. But I like that it adds an additional layer where we can excuse adding stats to things. Uh, indeed, if you if you enjoy pop culture, then special guest. If you enjoy pop culture, then this is definitely the game for you. And it's uh, it's uh, yeah, it's pretty good actually. One of our people in house, she, she's been playing the game for over 200, 300 hours, and she's still not, you know. Uh, not unhappy what was going on, but well, let's go for Grandma, who is going to be sitting at our table, and we need to give her a good class. Now, this is a new class here in uh, Haunted Fall, which is the witch. Uh, it, it is the season of the witch. It's a terrible film with Nicolas Cage. Don't go and watch it. Uh, what season of the witch is awesome? No, season is the witch of the witch is not awesome, John. <laughs> you just have terrible taste. I thought we've discussed this. <laughs> um, let's uh, let's okay. Let's give let's give Grandma a class that has a lot of health. I'm Which still saying warrior. That? Warrior or paladin? Warrior. What's a paladin? Paladin is kind of a semi-tank, semi-healer guy. Uh, they get pretty beefy, but the warriors feels like the, the actual premier tank class. The premier tank class, even yeah. though the paladin has got more HP. You know, you got a power play, man. Yeah, well, I know, but you know, he, he gets like a whole bunch of but look active at the, buffs. Look at the threat levels, comparing them to... No, the actual, what, what, the warrior has a less threat? Okay, let's go with the paladin. All right, that's the... Put Grandma the paladin. Grandma the paladin, who's going to be sitting at the table. Back in my time, we used to play with pen and paper. It's actually one of the best things with this game for, for horrible loners like me that don't have any friends that want to play pen and paper games with we them. We have people in it's, this It's office. actually a good sub substitute. Oh, come on, John. we got people in this office that want to play. I have tried to get play. in like four times, but they're always in the middle of a campaign, and oh. we're having so much fun without you. So, <laughs> so we have got this guy called Hinks. 
What is Hinks? Hinks is a gamer, which means he gets plus one skill duration. Ooh, have him as a, a priest then. The priest has uh, many like lingering butt things. All right, so let's put him in as a... Or the, I'm sorry, the cleric. The cleric. Obviously, this miter immediately popped on towards his head. Uh, yes, we will have him. Can we... Wait, consoles, console fans suck. Wow. <laughs> good, good way. Well done there, our cleric, uh, being like old edgy and shit. All right, let's go in. So is everybody ready? Our old character sheets are set up. I like how we have uh, a a game organizer. We can't Dungeon call him up. Oh, we can't call him that due to certain reasons. Uh, oh, is it even that? Cool? Yeah, I, f I think so. Uh, all right, no. let's rock on. Rock on, come on. Is your character from, like, back to in the future? That's heavy, man. In the future, there's some sort of massive thing that happens and what causes the the world's gravity to, to shift. How do you not know what a paladin is? That's a joke. It's, 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 it's uh, you know, whatever. Everything's just too meta at this point. It is know, this we, can't, we can't even joke without not joking. Exactly. I like how we're... I like... It, it, you know what's even worse about this meta game? The fact that we're looking into a window where it's happening. So, so I, just, I wonder who we are playing. Yeah, exactly. We are actually at another party somewhere outside that is looking indoors. A hey, spoiler alert, there's going to be <laughs> similar things happening in the game. Mm, all right. So let's, uh, let's, uh, let's go in, John. So the adventure begins now. Oh, my God. We're at a dungeon. Oh, I actually haven't played this campaign, so I can't say any spoilers. No, this is this. a tutorial at the, the moment. The vanilla campaign has yeah. interesting yes. meta things. As you wake up, you hear the cold whispering of the wind. Uh, you can't remember anything that has happened before. It sounds like uh, my average Saturday morning. It's a good excuse for a fresh start, too. Yeah, indeed. So as uh, as you know, that you're in a group of friends locked into you could. I thought you couldn't remember anything. How would you remember the, your friends? For no reason at all, and every, but everyone's calling you assassins. We're assassins, John. Nice. I know. Who have we killed? Uh, I, well, we couldn't, we couldn't remember it. Remember? All right, yeah. darn. While searching for a way out, you've noticed the prison bars have broken by some kind of magic. All right. Let's get out of this place. As you've left the cell, you face some guards. All right. Guard one, that's very inspired. Guard two, that's even more inspired. Uh... Yes. Oh, uh, great. There's a fight already. Yes. Let's battle. So we don't need to kill them all at once, which means that we should definitely kill them all at once. Yes, we should definitely. And just add an extra one for good measure. Oh, I think you're going into the level so extreme now, Matt. Uh, well, it's... Okay. Let's, can we cancel that? All right. Yep. Let's combat. Let's uh, kill three. Yeah. If you can. You know that we, we have no really proper damage dealer, which is uh, the big, like, lacking part of the party. Hmm. So yeah. we, we have a paladin, and we've got a priest. So the paladin uh, will do one to three damage, and this uh, that's enemy that's the one. attack order. Ah, okay. So there, that one will attack first. Yep. And that one will attack second. Uh, that then we will attack. That's what just happened. That's why he's missing. Ah, okay. Health. And then then our miter guy will it will have exactly. his round, and then the other two. Will so attack. we should go for number four or five, I reckon. Or do you think we can kill him in two hits, or uh, should we go for number one we, and try we, to? Uh, I I I think we can focus on five. Let's Actually, focus on five. He's in the back. Yeah, let's go in the they back. They won't row. notice when he dies. Though. Okay, we did two damage, and that's one. Okay, I'm guessing he's got like an eighth. And Something we, like that. Yeah. So let's go down here to our abilities. So we have a shield. We have what appears to be some sort of foul. Um, we've got uh, this down here, which looks like oh, we have potions. That's yeah. Cool. Although I think it's just items in general because no, you're gonna okay. get more items than. Uh, we can do up to three damage. Our priest does We're more damage than our. Then a uh, paladin. That's great. Oh wow, we did two eighty damage. That's uh, yeah. That's uh, that's weird. Okay, this is gonna be a hard fight, but that's gonna be interesting. Uh, no worries, we got this. We got this. Yeah, exactly. There yeah. we go. First Good one down. Job, Matt. Oh, we lost right, physical yeah, resistance. He's gonna need a potion. Uh, eight, eight HP though. Good, good, good. That's a lot of. That's a lot of HP gone. All right, we have uh, like a character sheet. Yes, oh, that's cool. we do. And we can every time we level up, we can put one point in one of these skills. Mm -hmm. uh, and being a power player like I am, I've found that it's more effective to put more points in one skills than even them out and try to specialize. Mm -hmm. But then um, that's the opposite of fun, so I, I don't really recommend that. But the priest has the circle of healing and the weakening, or the cleric, sorry, uh, are incredibly strong. 
Yeah, I can I can see that. The circle of heal restores 4 HP to all your group members. Wow. Keep in mind also that I did cheat when I played and gave me, myself tons of coins, so I had a full party, yeah. which made the AoE spells incredibly I much see. stronger. I see. I see how it is. I see how it is, John. Yes. All right. We're almost out of the... We're, what does that do? With physical resistance. What is that? Like it... I just think it decreases the damage you gain. So yeah, it's okay. like a percentage off. Okay, that's good. Now you don't need to target. It's just a convenient okay. thing. You just spam the, the killing button. What is this guy? Uh, that's the companion. He's like a modifier. Uh, so he does like different things for your party or your game. Oi, so... victory, John! Oh, great. So actually, the uh, good point of the game here is that you have the coin things here, which is yet another layer of meta. Uh, that you can spend on like an in-game shop that you see there in the upper left corner and that's going to put modifiers in your room so you can have different tables, mats, walls, um, guy that stands beside you, doors, things standing around the room. So you see the little ghost thing imaging there? That's probably something from the story too. So the coins you gain in the game are kind of, I don't know, you use them in the game too because you can go to like the blacksmith and go to the store. And there's just tons of stuff to do but yeah you should definitely get a heal. Heal is a good thing, but I'm questioning whether a circle. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Never mind. All right. So ooh, there is an exclamation mark here, John. Oh, good. Guard three. That's... Oh no, we got more guards. No. Nah. Wait, more guards? Oh, no, he's sounding an alarm. Oh, well, I think we should sneak past the guards. Rolls dice. Nice to roll. Oh yeah. I, I brought my own d20. Uh, you sneak past the other guards as you reach the first level. The tower, strange man covered in a dark cloak, is waiting on you. On his horse-drawn wagon. Of course, for a second, I thought that it said it was horse-drawn dragon. Yeah, yeah they actually read the same thing. Yeah, that's weird. Strange guy. That, all right, kids. <laughs> if you're watching this at home right now, and you're thinking, yeah, I, I frequently meet strange guys in cloaks all over the place, and he tells me to follow. Don't follow them. Although, if you're already locked up in a cavern and people call you an assassin, I think there are more things to worry about than the strange guy talking to you. Yeah, that's, well, I don't know. I don't know. There's, you can get, you, being put in the cage and... Could be an elaborate uh, bachelor party. It could be a very elaborate bachelor party. It reminds me of my bachelor. Anyway, um, <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what you uh, who you are, but we'll have to trust you for now. That's, Good choice. Um, I, I doubt it. The default village. Ooh. The, the strange guy rode his rode with you. We rode in his wagon, in his horse-drawn dragon, <laughs> and uh, to the default village. So that's uh, that's good. That's good. Gave me a great mental image of a really unwilling dragon <laughs> <laughs> with a horse in front of it. Yeah, indeed. Quest done. Yeah. Pro Experience. tip. Oh, look at all that money. I like how it says pro tip. It's Jesus Christ. <laughs> <laughs> we've gotten we've gotten three gold out of this. And experience. And 120 XP for our party. That's awesome. Yeah! And now we got 813. Let's go to the shop, John. I like that. Like the the fact that the game is already not taking itself very seriously. Ooh. It's only called a master. Nice. Uh gives us just so, so many layers of uh oh, we can do whatever we want humor wise. I, I like that. <laughs> so we currently are in the shop. Now this is incredibly this is you in the or in the game you earn coins. Uh, you can buy them as well, but you, you don't need to. You can, you can grind them in the game. But you can use those coins to buy things for your table. Now, this is this adds modifiers to your actual campaign. And it's the first layer of the game. And then you can go back into the actual game where the modifiers apply. Correct me if I'm wrong there, John. The, this is basically what I said like three minutes back. So. Okay. <laughs> That's cool. It's very well uh, phrased. Yeah, I know. Okay, so we Definitely. can we can get new tables. Lifesteal. I love lifesteal. Lifesteal. Permanent effect for 250 gold. Or plus 10 gold in battle with a golden table. Nah, that doesn't sound very good. Rock table. Plus 4 critical. Uh, okay, let's go around. We can get masters. Those are the guys that read us our campaign, which is... Uh, this dude over here, uh, this guy, any resemblance for <laughs> karate rat? Really? <laughs> any any uh, karate rat? Yeah, <laughs> yoga, uh, a dungeon. I like this one. Comic wait, store guy. Wait, he's the the master dungeon. I like that. Yeah, the master dungeon exactly. And Doctor Cientis with a C. By the way, any 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 um, reference to any other characters or resemblance to other people in Rive is, is, is uh, just a pure coincidence. Yep. So we can add, uh, we have a police box that adds plus, fif plus 15 magic, uh, an arcade, plus eight minute duration to table items. What are the table items, John? 